Hi everybody, this is Tammy. This is Ron. From Winky World Adventures. And today we're gonna to be talking about our likes and dislikes from our cruise that we took on the MSC Seashore recently. But this time we had such a hard time deciding. Mm -hmm. we, we just couldn't pick, so we are going to do 10 likes. And 10 dislikes. And we'll try to do it in kind of a rapid fire way. But if you want more in depth information, please write questions or comments in the comments below and we'll try to help. Okay, our first like on the MSC Seashore was the amount of pool areas that they had. They had some really nice pools that we were really impressed by. Mm -hmm. Our favorite was the jungle pool, which has the removable top. So on days where it's rainy or whatever, they can put that up and you can still swim in there, which is really nice, but it was kind of jungle themed. Mm -hmm. And then they had an infinity pool lower on deck eight, and that was off the aft of the ship. Then there was also the Long Island pool, which is kind of the main pool. So that was really nice too. Oh, yeah. All nice pools. Yeah. I'm pretty impressed. And they even had one that we didn't get to see up in the yacht club area, but there mm. were just different areas. And for kids, if you have kids, they had a huge water slide area. And right in the middle of the ship. So up above, and it was just amazing. Yeah, it was a nice ship. We're so impressed. we were very impressed with the pool and water slides areas. Okay, our second like was that we really liked the decor and theme of the ship. It was kind of New York themed. So they had all these different areas uh, with, there were a couple different atriums, one that had kind of a skyscraper feel to it, like you were in Times Square, sort of. Yeah, they have one like at night and then yeah. in the day, kind of cool. Like, like the moon was shining at night, it was very cool. And then, in the main atrium too, it was very cool. Kind of the multi-levels with the with the singer there. You know, it's more of a modern feel, but we yeah. really liked that. It was different, something different that we hadn't seen on any ship before. Mm, different. Mm -hmm. Okay, our third like on the MSC Seashore was the amount of parties, ship parties and dance lessons that they had. And these were really fun. Like they would teach dances before the different parties. Yeah, that's cool. Like they had a tropical night, for instance, where you could dress up in tropical, like a tropical outfit if you wanted to, it was totally mm. optional. But they taught some different dances that had kind of, um, kind of a oh. Caribbean Spanish vibe to yep. them, yep. very cool. And then also they had a white night where mm. if you wanted to, you could dress up in all white. So those were really fun. We enjoyed fun. those, yeah. Lots of dancing. And they were both up by the Long Island pool yeah. up, up above, so. Yeah. That was cool. Okay, our fourth like was the island. You know, we had never sailed MSC before. No. And we were really impressed with the uh -huh. island. Where I we... really liked the island a lot. Yeah. It was small, but a lot of beaches around there. And, you know, there's a lot to do there. Yeah, even though it was a small <laughs> island, it was actually way bigger, we felt. It felt bigger than some of the other cruise line islands because there were so many different beaches you know you weren't you never felt crowded crowded right you could go off on your own especially if you wait till noon a little early afternoonish um you could have beaches all to yourself so, right. so that was really nice and we just loved the feel of the island yeah and you can see the open ocean that's really nice very relaxing very peaceful yeah. okay our fifth like is and you probably know this already if you've been watching any of our <laughs> videos we love the nightclub Le Cabaret Rouge, yep. and that's on the aft of the ship. Um, and we just fell in love with it. The yeah. way it's laid out, it's kind of like a um, multi-tiered. Multi-level. Yeah, multi-level yeah. nightclub. And they have so many different kinds of entertainers in there, depending on the night. They have kind of yeah. their house band, but they bring in other entertainers to do different you know, acts and different acrobatics and yeah. all kinds of stuff. So we love that. Yeah, we? it was cool. Yep. And we never had trouble finding a seat. There's lots of seating. No, it was always empty. I mean, not empty, but a lot yeah. of seats empty. Right. No. Our sixth like on the MSC Seashore was the chocolate. <laughs> they it's had good. a chocolate bar, Venchi it's called, and Italian. Yep. And mm -hmm. we didn't even try the Italian coffees there. We've oh, heard no. they're amazing. They're really good. But we did try their chocolate. chocolate hot chocolate. <laughs> And if good. you saw really our video good. on that, we had hot chocolate mm -hmm. 
And then we tried their gelato and both were just amazing. The area is decorated so cute and it's yeah. just an awesome yeah. feature. Yeah. Of course, it is, it, there is an upcharge for that, yeah. but we felt it was way worth it. Yeah. So that was our number six. Okay, our seventh like was the sports bar. Yeah. That was cool. We loved the sports bar. It was way bigger than any we had seen on any other ship right. so far. A lot bigger. And I loved the decor and it had, they had this football shaped bar. Yeah. And it was just a great atmosphere. And they also have an outside seating area too, but it was too cold the day we were there. Yeah, <laughs> but, it was windy too. But, and then they even have some slot machines in there. Yeah, that was so different. It was different, yeah. but we really liked it. So the sports bar, you know, it wasn't just some little room that they thought about later and put it into a corner in a ship. I mean, they planned for this, so yeah. it was an awesome area, yeah, awesome good, bar. It was a good design. Yeah. Okay, our eighth like was that the shows we felt were really great. Yeah. And we had been prepared to think this was, it was going to be awful because of some reviews we read. Don't believe them. Yeah. <laughs> we were so impressed with the talent on this ship. Yeah. We didn't even go to all the shows, but no. the ones that we made it to, the singing, the dancing, they the really, they did a really good job of singing. variety. You know, they did so many different things too that were out of the norm. You know, different circus acts and um, juggling, all kinds of things. It just made it really fun, and I was impressed. Yeah. So we both were. Like we were like Yeah. Our ninth like is an easy one. Maybe it should have been number one because <laughs> this is one of my favorites. The pizza. The pizza on this ship, oh my gosh, it's just it's so really good. good. And good. that's why I was eating it at, at so many, <laughs> so many times. You'll yeah. see that in the videos, but um, we just love the pizza. It's got a lot of flavor and then mm -hmm. the cheese, the, the, uh, they set some spices on it. It was really good. Mm -hmm. It gave more flavor. Um, otherwise, if you got to try the pizza. Yeah, it was good. Even the whole buffet, I felt was good. You know, some people, it, it, it does, you know, have a lot of repeats from day to day. Yeah. But they did have a lot of variety. And yeah, I did. loved that you could have midnight yeah. snacks up until 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And just, you know, it was fun. We felt like we could go there anytime and just have <laughs> a snack or two. Yeah. And it was good. Good was food. Good, really good. And the desserts weren't so sugary. You know, sometimes... Yeah. The desserts, I'm like yeah. turned off, but these were they're really okay. they're good, good desserts. Yeah, but they were good. But the pizza is our yeah. number nine. Okay, our last and tenth like on the MSC Seashore was the fact that the room stewards came in twice a day. Now, a lot of ships have done away with this, especially Carnival. If you've been on Carnival, they only come in the morning. But this ship was both morning and night. They come in and turn down your sheets, which I kind of miss. So we really like that. But yeah, mm -hmm. to keep it, you know, fresh. Give you fresh towels and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, let's get on to the dislikes. Our first dislike on the MSC Seashore was the app. You know, we weren't real impressed with it. It didn't seem real user-friendly. I tried to use it before we left home to make reservations and and just to check in even. And I just ran into a lot of issues. Yeah. And then when we got on there, it didn't have the menus and things in the app like they do on a lot of ships. So I just felt like it wasn't quite as good. good. Um, yeah. In fact, if you really want to have a good schedule of the ship, read the old paper copy that they put on your bed every single day and yeah. um, you'll find in fact we missed a few yeah. things yeah. so it's um it's a good idea just to scan through that paper right. paper copy in yeah. your stateroom and see everything that's going on yeah. okay our second dislike was the muster drill yeah. oh, we, frustration <laughs> it was it was confusing and frustrating if you haven't seen our our video on that, you'll want to go back and watch the embarkation video that we put out because that goes into detail. But suffice it to say, it was a very confusing process. Now that we know the process, maybe it won't be as bad next time if we're on a, a ship MSC, which we're going on this week. <laughs> so we'll see, that's to be continued, but it was something we didn't yeah, like right, for sure. Right. 
Okay, our third dislike was the smart elevators on the ship, which I, I would not like call smart. They're more like no. stupid. <laughs> I hate to say that word, but. It's nice to you to do it manually, but. You can yeah, it, so. it just, they never wanted to work right. We would, you know, we would push the button and it, they would say which elevator you're supposed to go to. And then it would change. It would just change or it wouldn't show up. So a lot of people were frustrated. It wasn't just us. Um, they kind of had a mind of their own. Yeah, and it mm -hmm. takes you where you're, you're supposed to go on that deck. Yeah, it does. I mean, once you get on there, it once does you, take you where you're, it, you're supposed to go. You're supposed to go away. But other people are also on there going to their deck. So, yeah, it was. I just really yeah. I prefer the old school just push the button yeah. and you know exactly where you're going on a which elevator <laughs> okay our fourth dislike was the limited choices for the free dining on this ship there really wasn't much you know some ships they have kind of different little areas by the pool and things where you could go and get things or a burger joint like guys burgers on a carnival this didn't have anything like that you either mm. had the buffet that you could go to and there was just one buffet i know some msc ships have two this is one mm -hmm. and or the main dining room that you're assigned to uh or of course they have specialty restaurants but for the free food that was it yeah that was disappointing but mm -hmm. they did have other a lot of more specialty um dinners yeah if so, you're willing to pay the up charges right. Like we almost wish we would have tried the tacos. I, There's a, a specialty taco place. We've heard good things about it now. Yeah. <laughs> if we were to do that one over again, I think we would yeah. try the taco it's place. But, yeah, there's a little upcharge, but it sounded good. Right. But you know, it's just nice to have a couple different places to go to. And it was just those two really yeah. for pretty much the whole cruise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Our fifth dislike on the MSCC shore was the seating situation in the main dining rooms. Now, this is kind of an old school ship where you are assigned a dining room to go to each night. I think they do have some freestyle dining as well, but we opted for the, the seating. Now, we had put down that we wanted early seating, but when we got on the ship, we found out we were assigned to the late seating. <laughs> that was the first kind of like, hmm, okay. But then when we went in there, um, we had read online that every, like the people that had tables for twos, they each had a small table really close together and not a lot of room in between. Well, for us, we were seated with two other people at a table for four. So we were really shocked because we didn't know that was no, going to happen. No, 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 no. <laughs> I thought it was just me. Yeah. Me, just us. So that was really awkward and yeah. we weren't too happy about that. Right? Main. It kind of wrecked the main dining experience for us, actually. So just a heads up that if you're table for two, um, you may be seated with someone else. So it probably is going to happen. Our sixth dislike was that the crew seemed not real personable or friendly on this ship. You know, we've been on a lot of cruises. And I have to say, this is the least favored in terms of the crew and their hospitality. In fact, it's sometimes that we almost felt they were rude in certain situations, but they were at least standoffish for the most part. I mean, there were a couple of exceptions to that rule. We had a couple of really good ones, but yeah. I would say in general, um, they don't try to reach out and be friendly. And I don't know if that's a European thing, but um, like our room steward never came up and introduced himself. We finally had to seek him out because we had a question but it was frustrating. And then on the island, they I don't know who these people are that work on the island, but we were there almost till the end of the day. And they were driving their little um, car, uh, go-karts golf. or golf yeah. carts, I guess they were, no. so fast. And, you know, they almost ran into us several times on the trail yeah, when we were, were walking back to the ship. They were driving should slow down a little bit and we have some people walking on the sidewalk. That's where they were driving, on the sidewalk. Yes. So. And, and it was, they were just rude. Um, you know, we'd try to wave and say hi and they would ignore us. Yeah, it's the, and like, they're in the like they wanted us out of there. That was the feeling like we got yeah. like, 
like they wanted us gone. So it wasn't a very good feeling. No, no. But, you know, like I said, there were a couple exceptions to that rule where we had a good bartender, but for yeah. the most part, it was just kind of unfriendly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, our seventh dislike, and I hate to complain about this. The stateroom overall was really nice. We liked the stateroom, right? Yeah, uh, it's mm. uh, really nice. I'm, I'm fine with it. But we had some issues. Yeah. One of them being that the mattress was pretty hard, way harder than what we're used to. Yeah. And the pillows, one was like extremely soft and the other one was kind of little and flat. <laughs> so it was hard yeah. to... Yeah, I suppose these people pick whatever they want. But yeah, it just, it, they weren't comfortable either yes, one. we are uncomfortable. And in the bathroom, we did not receive any washcloths or Kleenex at all. So, you know, maybe we could have asked the room steward had we seen him more. Yeah. <laughs> he never did come around, so we made do without. And the shower was extremely small. Oh. And we had some backup um, on our last day, actually, where the sewer backed up in our bathroom. The, the drain, actually. The drain. the drain was backing up. Yeah. When I took a shower, it just started backing up from the floor drain all over the whole bathroom. Yeah. So we had to use every towel we had. <laughs> and then I had to rinse it all yeah. into the uh, toilet. Oh, it was a so mess. Way to do it. So that was kind of yucky, but um, so, you know, that put a damper on our feelings about the stateroom, those issues that we had. We're hoping this cruise we're gonna be taking is better. We'll see if this ship is better. But anyway, that was our feelings about the stateroom. Okay, our eighth dislike was the fact that we were feeling just kind of rushed the whole time we were on the ship. And it's hard to explain this one, but from the time we got on the ship with the mustard drill, we, we didn't even get on till 3.30. That was our time to board, just a little before that. And then we had to do the mustard drill right away. So we didn't have time to eat, you know, at the buffet. We, we did quick, but we yeah. were late to the mustard drill. <laughs> It was just boom, boom, boom like that the whole cruise. We yeah. felt like when we were on the island, they were rushing to get us off the island. When we were on the ship, you know, it just felt like everything was just always like rush, rush, rush. And of course, when you're on vacation, you don't want to rush, yeah. you want to relax. And the last day we were told we had to be off the ship, out of our cabin by, or out of our cabin by like 7 a.m., which is the earliest we've ever had to be out of our cabin on a cruise ship. Hey, that's really, really. And again, we just felt really rushed. So I don't know why that is, but we were a little frustrated with it. Yeah. Okay, our ninth dislike was the fact that they didn't really have any movies to watch on board. You know, you could watch them on your stateroom TV, obviously, although they didn't have a great selection, but there were no like, where you lay out by the pool and watch a movie, like the dive-in, uh, drive-in movies kind of thing yeah. on Carnival and some other cruise lines. Okay. They didn't really have, I guess they did have one. I looked back on our our, um, our agendas that we got and the last night they had the Polar Express movie, which is an old movie for kids, a Christmas movie, but it was so cold and windy. I can't imagine anybody sat out there to watch that. <laughs> So, and Brittany. Oh, so that was it. I mean, they really didn't have any movies. No. Yeah. Kind of bummed out about that. Yeah. Okay, our 10th and final dislike was the fact that we felt like the Yacht Club and the Aria areas took up way too much space on the ship. It was difficult to have a spot to really look out and enjoy the views from up above or to watch the sail away because they take up yeah. three floors there, three right. decks. And, uh, you know, it's obviously people that pay more money to go in the yacht club. And I know some of you do this and maybe that's great. But for us people that can't afford it, it was a little frustrating because we felt like such a huge chunk of the ship was taken by that. Yeah. And especially it kind of wrecked those views we felt like, you know. Yeah. There was one area that we could kind of go watch the sail away, but that was a smoking area. So that wasn't good. <laughs> and it was a bad spot to put it. Yeah, so anyway, we just felt like they took up way too much room on the yeah. ship. Okay, those are our 10 likes. And 10 dislikes. From our cruise on the MSC Seashore. So now the final verdict. Would we do it again? 
Would we sail on this ship again? Yes, I would do it definitely. I would do it too. It was an awesome cruise. We had a great time. And sure, there were a few things that we didn't like. That's true on any cruise. But we felt overall that it was an awesome ship. The layout, we loved everything. We loved the pools, we loved the entertainment, the food was great, the island was amazing. And yeah, we can ignore the few little negatives. Yeah, and otherwise overall, nice ship. It was worth it. Yeah. So let us know what you think in the comments below. And we hope you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in some way. If you did, please like the video and consider subscribing to our channel. It really helps us out. Thanks so much and God bless.